We are on the front end of a market shift. I'll explain next on Tom's Take. You're definitely gonna wanna watch this one. If you've had any conversations about real estate in 2021, the main thing we hear from buyers and from sellers is that there's no inventory out there. There's no homes available. This has been the talking point. How competitive, how incredible, how amazing the market has been since things opened back up in May of 2020 after our Pennsylvania shutdown. And here's what I know. A lot of agents are still saying, hey, there's still nothing for sale. There's still not a lot of inventory. There's no homes available. And I wanna share some data with you that indicates the exact opposite. In fact, what it tells me is that we're starting to see the market shift where there's gonna be more homes coming to the market. A couple of weeks ago, we talked about the Realtor.com survey about homeowners wanting to make a move in 2022. What I wanna do today is break down what was going on in April versus what's happening now through the end of October, the most recent stats. So to give you an idea, here's where we are. Inventory, number of units for sale in April versus the end of October, that, that number is up 15.65% in Chester County, 40.76% in Delaware County, 13.43% in Montgomery County, and 28.75% in Philadelphia. So there are significantly more homes available, 13 to 40% more homes than we saw in April, typically when buying peaks. What we also know in terms of supply level, which is how long it would take to liquidate the existing number of homes that are on the market, that number's jumped up over 44% in Chester County from April to October, 55.93% in Delaware County, 19.74% in Montgomery County, and 54.97% in Philadelphia. So we're seeing that supply is up anywhere from 19 and change on the low end in Montgomery County to 44, 55, and 54% in Chester, Delaware, and Philadelphia. So here's what I know. When you start to see that happen in a time when typically inventory drops historically, if you look back at historical trends in our marketplace, the fourth quarter market, October, November, December, normally we see the number of homes decline. That's a historical trend that's been out there for a while and we've charted it for a long time. We're seeing this number jump up dramatically from April. That tells me that the market's not gonna all of a sudden do a 180 and prices are gonna go down. That's not what we're talking about here. We're seeing more of a seasonality and normalization, meaning we're not gonna see 10% appreciation next year. It's probably gonna be between five and six because these supply levels, we're still at like a one month, 1.2 month supply, which is very low considering the even market is at six months where a buyer and seller have equal leverage. We're not close to that. We've just seen numbers come up a lot since April when the market was at a frenzy, when homes were selling with 10 offers. Now maybe you're only getting two or three offers on your home. So knowing that we're seeing inventory jump substantially since the spring, what does that mean for buyers and sellers? So if you're a seller, I'd be pausing the waiting until the Super Bowl strategy that every realtor tells you. Throw that person right out of your house. I said that before. I would be jumping the market and getting my home on the market now because there's still a lot of demand out there. The demand from buyers is intense. They want to get into homes. They've lost out on four, five, six homes, and the serious people are out looking this time of year. If you're putting a winter jacket on in December or in November to go look at a home, you're buying a house. That's the reality. So if I'm a seller and I'm thinking about making a move in the next six months, I'm accelerating that process now for two reasons. One, inventory is climbing, and the more options mean the less of an offer you're going to get, meaning the terms may not be as good, the price may not be as good as you could get right now. And secondly, what I know is that rates are projected to go up. All the economists out there are saying the same thing. So there's going to be some negatives to waiting. So if you're thinking about selling, I'd be doing this now. If you're a buyer, what I'd be doing is I'd be aggressively looking that we're seeing more homes are coming onto the market. Rates are lower now than they will be in the future. They're a guarantee before the end of the year. Once January 1st hit, we don't know what's going to happen. So the message here is this. The market isn't quite like people are painting it to be. Inventory is climbing. We're seeing rates starting to go up. 
So there's some reasons that if you're thinking about buying or selling, you want to accelerate your time frame because it could cost you money. And that's what actually is happening in the market. Any questions? You know where to reach me. Otherwise, we'll be back next week. You're definitely going to want to watch this one.